Welcome back to Foodie Friday. As you know this week we are celebrating our draft animals and so the recipe that I have for you today is a nice delicious simple seasonal recipe. So the way this relates to our draft animals is just like using draft animals we're cutting down on our carbon footprint by using locally available seasonal vegetables for this delicious recipe. Um, so let me walk you through the ingredients that I have. So I've got eight eggs, which if you have a neighbor or you keep your own chickens, it's great to get from them. Um, a bunch of asparagus, and I'll show you how to prepare that with these two. Uh, I have some spinach here. I have three chopped spring onions. I have about a half a cup of our Billings Farm milk and half a cup of the Billings Farm ricotta cheese. And I have two Yukon Gold potatoes where I've just washed the skin and sliced them up nicely. This is going to be very simple and delicious. You can serve it with a salad or just have it for lunch or for dinner. So to prepare asparagus, if you've never done that before, each stalk of asparagus is gonna have a different point at which the end breaks off. You don't want these tough ends because um, they just are harder to cook and harder to eat. They get really stringy. So that one broke there, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put it in the compost. And this one broke there. So where it naturally breaks is what you want to get rid of. Now I have my two asparagus tops to add to the rest of what I'm doing. So first things first, I'm gonna take my eggs, put them in a larger bowl. And I'm just gonna whisk these together so they get nice and light. Doesn't take very long. Um, and then add in my milk, nice and creamy. Very nice. So we're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna start to cook our vegetables and get ready for the frittata. Okay, so I'm gonna start cooking up the ingredients that are gonna go into my frittata. So I've melted about a half a tablespoon of butter in my little pan here, and I'm going to take my potatoes and put them right in. Um, I'm just looking for the potatoes to get a little bit browned on both sides and cooked through a little bit. So it's fine that they're not all flat. But I'm gonna do this in batches, and then when they're browned, I'm gonna take them out of the pan and put them on a plate and reserve them for the rest of the frittata. So while my potatoes are being prepared and getting nice and brown and delicious, I'm going to cook the rest of my vegetables, starting with my spring onions and my asparagus. So I've just got a little bit of olive oil in this pan. And it's nice to have the asparagus in more, uh, longer pieces because as uh, when you'll see when the frittata comes all together that they look really beautiful in there. But if you'd like smaller pieces, you certainly can cut them a bit smaller. So these, this is gonna take a few minutes to cook. Remember, this is also gonna go into the oven, so you don't want the asparagus to get um, completely soft. You still want the asparagus to be a little bit um, crunchy so that by the time it finishes baking, it still has a nice crunch and a nice flavor. So my asparagus has been cooking for about three minutes or so, maybe a touch longer. You can see that it's a nice bright green color. I've turned off my heat so that I can add my spinach because the heat of the pan is going to wilt the spinach and too much heat with spinach is gonna overcook it and add more moisture to the dish than we really want. So again, similar to the Swiss chard, it looks like there is just tons and tons of greens and they're all jumping out of the pan but by the time this wilts down you're gonna wonder where all of that all those greens went it's gonna come down to they're gonna shrink right down um, and fit exactly perfectly into our frittata so all of our spinach is cooked down look at how much that cooks down beautifully wilted in with our other ingredients. I now have my potatoes that are cooked and brown. I'm gonna nestle these guys right in here. Just get them right in with the vegetables. 
this is a nice hearty hearty dish uh, that's going to be nice and delicious with all these wonderful seasonal nutrients one little note about the potatoes um, is that I chose to leave the skins on them. You can certainly peel them, but the skins are really nutrient dense. And so as another way to cut down on your food waste, you can always just leave those skins right on, just wash them. So now I'm gonna add my beaten eggs. Um, I did add a little bit of salt and pepper to the eggs themselves to give them some flavor. So get that all right in there. And my last step is to dollop the ricotta cheese over the top of this. It's going to be so good. Um, and then I'm going to turn the heat back on just a medium heat here on the stove to let the frittata just set a little bit on the bottom. And then I've got my oven heated to 350 degrees and I'm gonna put it in the oven for probably 15 minutes or so until it's completely set. The top will be a little bit golden brown. Then we'll just garnish it with some parsley and it'll be ready to serve. Um, and we can have it for dinner this evening or it's lovely cold uh, for lunch the next day as well. So we'll see what this looks like when it comes out of the oven. Look how delicious this is looking. Ooh, so amazing. So the frittata has come out of the oven. It looks and smells absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna take some fresh chopped parsley here as a garnish. And remember your pan is really hot from coming out of the oven, so be very careful. And then I'm going to take my rubber spatula here and cut a nice lovely piece. I'm not gonna use a knife because I don't want to mark the pan at all. Oops. Delicious. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So now we have a perfectly delicious uh, spring vegetable frittata is going to be enjoyed for dinner this evening um, and can be served at room temperature or cold for lunch um, but enjoy this it's very very good and you can frittata is so versatile you can really use any vegetables that you like um, you can use it make it with cheese or without cheese it's really a wonderful um, basic dish that you can jazz up however you'd like so enjoy this and we'll see you next week for Foodie Friday.